What's good guys, Troy here, White Guy Network. You already knew that, you're on the channel right now. So I just got these badass sunglasses here. I actually was at a nightclub on Saturday night with my best friend Jeremy, and he shows me these sunglasses on Amazon, and I'm like, I gotta get those right now. I gotta bust these out on a YouTube video. So one click primed it, and here they are, sitting on my face. So. It's all about the product packaging. Look at this, we got some fancy donuts on here. We got some interesting uh, nutrition facts <laughs> from my boy Riff Raff. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I believe this is, I'm not 100% sure, but the guy who the movie Spring Breakers is based on is this crazy motherfucker called Riff Raff. And these are like his brand sunglasses. They got a bunch of crazy stuff, so. Um, I'm not being paid to promote his stuff, obviously. He's much more uh, popular than me on social media, so he doesn't need me to promote his stuff, but I know a good product when I see it, and I uh, definitely had to pick these up for the summertime. So, what we are getting into today is four forgotten chest exercises that grew my pecs. So I would say that one of the strengths of my physique is I've always had a pretty big chest and I think one of the reasons is because I've never really been stuck on the same chest routine. So I know every Monday you guys get ready for International Chest Day and you have more than likely about the same routine. I see guys hitting the bench press and then you might do some dumbbell incline, you might do some flies, you might do some cables, and that's pretty much it for every single Monday for the entire year for your chest. But to see really fast results, you have got to change up your chest routine. There's so many little muscle fibers in the upper part of your chest and the lower part of your chest. If you guys want that powerful looking physique, you have to bring out especially your upper chest. So these exercises, I'm giving you four, and I guarantee you guys have most likely never done most of them before, and they're going to target the inner chest, they're gonna hit the upper chest, gonna hit the lower chest. When you just bench press, you're only developing the lower to mid portion of your chest. So if you have a really developed chest right here and you have nothing up top, you're gonna have a really weird looking physique. I think that the upper chest is one of the most important muscle groups to develop, especially as a naturally skinny guy. And if you have pretty low body fat and you get that ripped upper chest, you guys are gonna have an insane looking physique. So let's get into the four forgotten chest exercises. So first up, we have the eccentric overload machine press. So you see me doing the machine press. So you could do the incline machine. I have the ISO incline and the ISO uh, flat machine. So obviously doing a machine and you're locking out that chest press. And now with the eccentric overload, what we're doing here is we're going really slow on the way down. So a lot of guys just focus on locking out, but you actually create more healthy micro tears in your muscle group on the way down. So focusing on the eccentric portion, the eccentric overload uh, portion of the exercise, you guys are gonna make some amazing gains. So try this out on every single chest exercise. Just anytime you're bench pressing, try to go three seconds on the way down and explode up. And I think you can really hit this hard with the machine chest press. So you see me doing the exercise right here. I'm going really heavy on the ISO incline and then I'm really focusing on going down nice and slow. I believe on my last few reps there, I'm going four to five seconds on the way down and this is blasting my upper chest. The second forgotten chest exercise is the hex press. Now the hex press involves really getting a squeeze in the center portion of your chest. So you're actually bringing the dumbbells a lot closer together, you're keeping your elbows in, and then you're squeezing your chest as you come up. So this one is gonna put a ton of emphasis right on that center of your chest. You're gonna get that chiseled line. You guys are gonna look like man children hitting the beach this summer. The third one I would say is the most important out of the bunch for maximum aesthetics. This one is my favorite upper chest shaper. So I never see anyone doing this at the gym anymore. The dumbbell pullover. In fact, the only guys I've ever seen do this at the gym are 
not coincidentally the ones who have the best physique. So really focusing on keeping your elbows in, coming back, and then as you come forward on the concentric, on the tension part of the repetition, really focusing on that mind-muscle connection and squeezing the upper chest on this exercise is going to give you amazing results. So make sure you really challenge yourself, get that good stretch back here, and then really focus on squeezing as you bring that weight back up. And then I always superset this exercise with the close grip incline push-up. So that's also gonna focus on your upper chest. So you're doing the dumbbell pullover, which puts a lot of overload and volume on your upper chest. Try to go really heavy. I think I've gotten up to like 90 to 95 pounds on this exercise, and you just really feel it in those muscle fibers right in the upper portion. And then you're gonna go completely till failure on the incline push-ups. You see me do the incline push-ups here. You can see that upper chest just flat out working right there, especially uh, transitioning from the dumbbell pullover. So go to failure. Um, I would say a good goal is between 20 and 30 body weight incline push-ups after doing the dumbbell pullover. So hit three to four sets of that on your chest workout, and you guys are no doubt gonna build a powerful upper chest. Next up, we have what I call the Wolverine Low Cable Fly. Now, I was actually doing this exercise one time at the gym, and this personal trainer who is like 155 pounds, no muscle mass, tells me I'm doing the exercise wrong. And then I told him to try it, and he was like, oh, holy shit, that actually, I felt that more in my chest than the normal way of doing this. So what I'm talking about here is most guys do this low cable fly. This is the standard way to do it. So you watch me in the video doing this. What I'm doing here is I'm actually crisscrossing my hands. So I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like Wolverine. So I just called it the Wolverine low cable fly. So you're crisscrossing your hands and you're actually getting more of a stretch. So by moving your right hand all the way over here, your left hand all the way over here, even without weight, I'm just doing this right now. I feel this right throughout the center of my chest. So getting that squeeze, keeping your palms up and going nice and slow and controlled, it's going to really sculpt and chisel the center of your chest. You're gonna feel it all in these inner muscle fibers. And think about the last time you bench press or did a heavy dumbbell lift. You don't really feel that tension and that squeeze right in the muscle fibers of your inner chest. That's because it's mostly working the, the outer portion of your chest, the largest part of the pec muscle. But by doing the shaper exercise and squeezing and crisscrossing your hands, you're really forcing that tension right in the middle portion, the little micro tears in your chest. And you guys are gonna get absolutely jacked doing this exercise. So. These are so important because if you just hit the bench press, you're not hitting all the little muscle fibers in your chest. So the Wolverine low cable fly, you know, hitting the center, we got the dumbbell pullover hitting the incline or the upper portion of the chest. All these exercises are gonna tie in together and give you guys awesome aesthetics. So make sure you integrate those four forgotten chest exercises every single Monday for International Chest Day and stick with it for about six to eight weeks and I guarantee you, you will have amazing progress in your chest development. So, absolutely beautiful day here in West Palm Beach. So just wanted to show you guys some amazing scenery. Feel so blessed to be able to live here and live in this beautiful climate because back in the day, I was actually from Wisconsin and I never thought I'd be living in an environment like this. So just wanted to uh, shout that out and uh, say that I'm really happy to be living right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're looking for more great tips on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, head on over to WeightGainMethod.com. See you there, guys. Doing a few bench presses, some push-ups, and you think that's a complete chest workout. But if you want to really build and sculpt a fitness model-like chest, you know, a defined upper chest, that shredded center of your chest, and a really defined lower chest, 